hello friends uh, using this tool we can compare the uh, page layout in the different docs we can create a security matrix report we can extract the field info list of as objects field and page layout matrix and everything is just in one tool the name of the tool i have decided is force util so let's start with the uh, how to set up the network connection it is the possible that the many organization we have proxy enabled we are working behind the proxy so in this tool i have given the flexibility to create your uh, proxy settings from here only you can give the server name if needed uh, of course you will need the port uh, in some cases you may need authentication uh, you may have to provide the username or the password so uh, we can set up the proxy setting for this tool and uh, if we don't need any proxy setting just close it don't set up it anything so that's it so see nothing is saved here uh, let's start with creating a new account uh, before using this tool we have to create a new account in most of the cases in the salesforce tool i have seen uh, we are actually very uh, it's very uh, time consuming to provide the username password everything uh, every time so in this tool actually what is happening you have to provide your instance name maybe the training org day org or sandbox then you have to provide the profile name like is it the system admin profile or marketing user or the sales user then your username your password you have to confirm your password and if needed security token in most of the cases i disable the security token but how this is not recommended to remove the security token for the use of the easiness i am removing the security token in my all of the orgs so here you can see the help text for the how how to give the instance name what is the sandbox and everything so here i have saved one instance name named as a one now i am saving going to save another instance again name as uh, any hypothetical name it's not required in the name is two and the profile name again i am going to give you the system admin because in this organization also i am the system administrator so here i will provide the system administrator so that's it this is the central place where you can set up your instance names your username and password and that's it you are ready to go just provide all the information necessary and save and close yeah so our records is saved now so if in any case let's say you need to modify whatever you have saved you can just go to the manage account you have to select your instance name if you have more than one profile you have to select the profile update your username and password or any information and just click on the save so from here you can edit your saved information for the salesforce and now this is a very important place this is the other setting where you can control where the reports should be generated if this is the difference report i mean you have to different you have to create a difference report for organization 1 and 2 and here all the placeholders if you navigate to the help text you can see how the placeholder using the placeholder you can save your report at any folder whatever whenever you want now i was suggest you not to change the production api url and the sandbox api url the reason i have provided is for most of the developers who know the develop uh, who know the apis they wants to do some testing they can just change it now starts with the comparing field and the page layout of more than one organization so here you can see this is the ui you have to select the either environment 1 or environment 2 you have you can run in the bulk i mean if you for one organization let's say you have more than one profile and you want to compare what is visible to which profile you can set up there now very important thing is that for both profile we have to provide the system administrator if even you are comparing with the marketing user you have to provide one system administrator now at that place you have to provide the s object when you click on the get s object this new small window will open here you have to select uh, from which or now oh uh, yeah this is the log window uh, the throughout the software throughout this uh, small application you will see this log window and you will come to know that what is happening behind the scene you can search either by standard object either custom object or you can just fetch the tag history feed all you have to just control there 
what you want to fetch what you don't want to fetch and click on done button now here i have selected one object it might be present in one organization and might be not present in another organization so let's see what happens now the lead account contact these are the three objects which will present everywhere now you can create a difference report for field difference report for page layout now the compare profile is in future uh, it's uh, right now i am developing i am working on this so very soon i will release that information now this checkbox decide that after the generation of the record after the generation of the report do you want to launch report i said yes click on the generate report button again the log window your best friend is here if anything go anything goes wrong in my software the complete log detail can be found in this log itself well this software is not fully tested yet it's just right now in a beta phase so it might be possible that you might get some unrecognized error now this is the report which is the field difference the field difference between the org 1 and org 2 it provides information that in org 1 we have login by xyz user and in org 2 we have login by the other user so that information is there at the top you can see that i have a small links for the lead account contact now let's see this object now in organization one this field for this object is actually at all not present if you can see this field is not present in organization one now for organization two you can see uh, their detail their label everything is there now there is a small link you can just directly navigate to the list of the objects like this field approver two it is present in one like this testing it is not present in one it is present in two so this kind of the difference report you will get from this tool here you can see that all the information of that field like uh, like this field data quality score it is present in org one but it is not present in org two or guys fls very important the user by which you are accessing if he does not have access using the field level security it will show that field not present so you can easily determine that if the field should present it is not showing that means guys there is a problem between the field level security now you can see i have the headers here i have the footers at the right side you can see the scroll to top link so you can easily navigate to the top of the page you can then navigate to the objects now the second report is the page layout difference between the organization 1 and organization 2 now guys you can see only three object came here contact account and lead yeah this is a small bug i should show you that the one object is not present but uh, right now i am not able i have not implemented that functionality but you can easily determine now see guys the button difference now the few buttons like the partner portal customer portal these are enabled in the organization one but these are not available in the organization two or may not have been added in the page layout now these are the name of the section and the field difference even if some field is not present in some section and some field is present in another section this tool will give you the complete difference like what is the field name its type and you can see here the difference now even the related list on the page layout let's say if the related list one related list in one organization have only four column and another related list in another organization have a five column you will get that difference very easily like here the cases related list is not present in org one but it is present in org two which columns included you can see label field everything is possible now same for the account and same for the all object account lead so uh, it up to you how many objects you want to compare it in just a single button it will compare everything like here web to lead this web to lead page layout only exist in org 1 not in org 2 so you can see that now if you come to the lead layout now there is a button difference again there is a section again so complete difference between the page layouts between the two organization can be easily identified from here now here guys you can see error message uh, again i have said this is in a beta phase so easily you can identify that what error occurred if any error occurred you can just report me at the jitendra.jha at the redcognizant.com or my personal id jitendra.jha at the gmail.com feel free guys to report any issue i am just working on this tool and uh, of course in the next version i will try to remove all these errors now 
this is the functionality of the compare field and the page layout now the second module in this software is extract field it is kind of the schema extractor i know we have lots of market uh, online tools in the market the uh, app exchange however i thought that it is a good idea to have everything under one software itself so it is again uh, you have to select the s object which s object you need just click here uh, report will be generated here see operation successfully now in a contact object opportunity account lead you can see that what is the field level what is the description is it the required field is it the custom field if this is the pick list you can see what are the available pick list value for example the here salutation like here lead source this is the pick list and what are the pick list values available here so complete information of the fields present for the particular object let's say if the this is the lookup or the master tree relationship it will give you the reference to whom it is referring again the pick list every information it is just kind of guys uh, schema explorer from this software itself you can very because username and the password is saved in your uh, your local machine so anytime you need you have you just have to go you have to extract it no need to provide the username and password again and again here the list of all the pick list values if this is the formula field like in this case you will even get the formula what is the formula available for that like this this is the formula field so this is the formula so everything will be exported in this report this is the fill schema now the next module in my software is a fill and the page layout matrix this is the one of the very important and the unique feature available in this application i have not seen any other or might be the some app exchange available but i have not seen the functionality of is this that which field is present in which page layout it will give you the very uh, short description you can use it in your design report in any 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 other report like here the field account id is present in opportunity layout or not you can easily identify that which are the orphan which are the orphan fields which fields is not used at all at any places either it may be the hidden formula field or you need to clean up the fields so this is the very best report i will say the best report uh, normally i use to identify that which fields are the orphan fields or which field i need to clean up so this is the best report you can identify here now close the again the close log window will appear uh, let's run this module again using my other instance because in the previous instances i have only one page layout so you will not feel the utility of this module but however in my next uh, i have more than one page layouts so you can easily identify that particular like this i have two page layout for opportunity read only and opportunity here you can see the fields account id present in both page layout and all the fields it just means the field is present no means the field is not present in both layout either it is hidden or you need to clean up again the same thing i am saying like in the contact i have only one page layout so no issue now here lead in lead i have a two page layout uh, one page layout is a lead layout and another page layout is web to lead so here you can identify for the particular field uh for example uh, created by id the created by id field is present in one page layout but not present in other page layout description field is present in lead page layout but it is not present in the web to lead layout and so on now let's move to the next module of my application and uh this module is actually a 
profile security matrix field and page layout matrix yeah we have done profile security matrix so actually in my last last project we have to create a matrix that for which profile what is the level of the permission for any particular as object so for this you have to set up the eclipse project uh, this is some kind of the manual job so first you have to fetch the project in the eclipse and then provide the url of the profile folder here so like uh, I have many Salesforce project here. I'm just using uh, one random random project. Uh, maybe this one or okay. Let's select this one and just select the profile folder here. That's it. Open it and run the security matrix report. Now what this report will create is for particular profile what is the level of the permission for the object either is create permission read permission edit permission view all modify all so here you can see here this is the object names all the object available in your organization and these all you can as you can see the profiles available and the, these are the legends c means create permission r means read permission the same m means modify all permission modify all records so here like this academic object for admin they have all the permission like this for this profile even they have all permission now for the chatter there is no permission contact manager no permission for some it's only read permission so here this is a very like it is very useful report to create your workbook in your organization let's say if you deliver your any project it might be possible that you have to create a workbook a security matrix like for which profile which object is available well uh, this is very useful report for me also now most of the time i'm using this report to include in my workbook so to remove the manual task i have created this anytime you feel anything to report any issue or some enhancement please feel free to email me at this email i will i will sure reply to you and i hope this tool is going to help you thank you so much